Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Helen and I started Dental DIY Shop about a year ago. I wanted to show you guys my studio tour. My shop has grown in the past year. Hopefully I can give you guys some tips on how I started my small business. And I hope that I can inspire or motivate any of you guys who are looking to start your own small business. It was a lot of work at the beginning, but now that I have a flow going on, it's been a little bit easier for me to manage the shop. My family has been really helpful with my shop. My mom helps me sew and my siblings help me package my orders. It's nice to have some help when it gets busy with all the orders. In my other videos, I will show you guys some tutorials on how I make some of my handmade accessories. And then I can also show you guys some packaging videos of me packaging orders. I plan to go live and do some packaging orders. I've also been posting on TikTok, so you can follow me there and see some packaging videos. Now I'm going to show you guys my studio tour. Here is my packaging station. I have two monitors that I put up on the wall and then my laptop is here for opening up all the orders and I have it hooked up onto my thermal shipping label printer. I'll leave a link down below where I got it. This is a floating table that I put together. So if I need more space, I can always fold the table down and then just push my printer against the wall. So here's how it looks when I folded one part of the table down. This can also fold one more time down so it can be just flat against the wall. Here is how the table looks when it's folded up against the wall. These are the ring lights that I use for my photos and videos for TikTok and Instagram. I use this light box for smaller photos and then I have this turntable here for bigger pictures that I need to take. This is where I store all of my stickers and pins. I got these cubbies off of Amazon and I just put all the pins and stickers in each of the cubbies. And then I used my label maker to label each of them. I have some extra thread right there. And then these smaller cubbies are for the stickers. I put all of my pins in these cubbies and then I label them with my label maker. These are my organ pins that I've made. And here is my brain pin that I've been selling out quite quickly. So whenever I get an order, I just go in here and I grab one of the pins out that's already been pre-packaged. And I go over here and then I put it in one of these. And then I grab the thank you cards and an extra free sticker. They're holographic stickers. And I give a free sticker for every order that I get. I have more videos on my TikTok on how I package my pins. So you can check out my TikTok if you want to see how I package my orders. Up here, I have more cubbies of all the pins and I store them in here so when I run out of the pins in the drawers, I can just restock them easily. And I have some more thank you cards and the instructions cards. This here is a lifesaver. It's a rubber back remover. so. I can take out all the rubber backings on the pins really quick and then package my pins faster. I have these bags for packaging and then I have some more stickers here. If you guys want to see the pins that I have, you can check out my shop or my Etsy shop and then I have them all listed on there. I'll go into more detail of each pin in another video. This is where I store some of my shipping supplies. This is a model head that I use for my product photos for the scrub caps. And then these are just some extra business cards and the thank you cards. I have some packaging mailers here and then some shipping boxes. I have my laminator 
and my Cricut here for making my packaging labels. Here I have some extra mailers, so when I run out, I grab the ones up top and then some more shipping tape. I just have my sheer bags that I put the pins in for when I ship the packages out. Here are some bubble mailers that I use. And then I have some more in this drawer. They are just a little bit bigger. This side, I have all the tissue paper that I use for packaging. And then I have a printer underneath, but I don't use that. So I just set the tissue paper on top. And I have my other printer here for when I make custom stickers. These are storage bins that I use to store my fabric and all the pre-made masks and scrunchies that are all ready to go. I have scrub caps down here. So my mom has sewn, pre-sewn all these. And whenever I get an order, I can just package it up in one of these baggies and then ship them out. And then up here, I have some masks and scrunchies that are already pre-sewn. All of these fabrics are pre-cut to sew the scrunchies whenever there's an order. I have my ironing board and my iron so I can straighten out the fabric before I sew them. Here's my sewing station. I have my sewing machine. I use the Singer Heavy Duty. And behind here, I just have all of the extra thread, the bobbins, extra safety pins, scissors, I already pre-cut some of the elastic for the scrunchies. And then I have shipping tape for when I ship out the packages. This is fabric for the mask. I have the ear loop pieces here and then some more elastic. These are some pliers for some of the other crafts that I do. And then I have this cutting mat for cutting the fabric. And this is a scrunchie holder. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel and comment down below. Bye.